Yeah. Now you get the picture, right? I wear my sunglasses, so. All right, check this out. She got on this supporter, Mary Dash, between Mary and Lee, a.k.a. Mary Mac. Don't forget to do the same thing with that. Today is supposed to be December the 30th, Wicked Wednesday in my city, Chicago, 2020. It could very well be 2019. It all depends on who's telling this story. Either way it go, I'm trying to wind down my uh, year and think more about myself and less about, you know, people who don't care about me. This is only for my real haters and stuff because, you know, I look good regardless and stuff, right? If I could see you or not, imagine that. Now, we're talking about safe sex or no sex. This is part four. I got four nieces, okay? Now, I dodged all kind of bullets in my lifetime and stuff, and, you know, my nieces have been one hell of a goddamn um, revelation for me or whatever. And they real smart. You know, one of them is a school t- teacher. Her name is Latanya Nelson. I, she's been married, so, you know, they may have changed or whatever and stuff. Either way, they smarter than me. But they use me and, you know, use me up. They say, you just keep on using me till you use me up. Now, they grandmother, my mother... You know, they used to treat her like crap, especially my um, older sister, Linda, who was so-called RN at Michael Reese Hospital in my city, Chicago, on King Drive. And, you know, I was with my nieces and so-called family for about six months, and I called hell and wanted to go, you know, to uh, job court in Milwaukee because, you know, I couldn't get nowhere with them. They was getting paid off of me a grip. And, you know, my sister only wanted to give me $50. I had to go to my caseworker and say, look, I can't live off of $50 a month. So they upgraded it to $75. And I was 17 years old at the time, going on 18 or whatever. And this is around the time I gave Oprah Winfrey my true child abuse story rap. And my youngest niece, D.I. Nelson, a.k.a. Dee Dee, knows damn well that, you know, I read it to her. So she knows, you know, my story. And I did some... Things that I'm not, you know, I'm not ashamed to say to avoid doing something with my four nieces at the time. Nicknamed Dee Dee, Nene, Pumpkin, and Rudy. Now, they said Rudy died, the oldest one, and she's the only one who birthday that I know, and that's March 31st because she is two months, you know, older than me. You understand what I'm saying? I was born May 1967, and she was born, you know, in March of 1967. So she was the only one that I really remember birthday, and that was only because of that. You understand what I'm saying? Out of all of them, I would say she was probably more Native American or, you know, something that was a little more similar as far as her and I are concerned. Now, they said that she died, my oldest niece, due to gang violence. I was homeless at the time when I found this information out from my so-called sister, Angela Davis. That's her name, for real. You understand what I'm saying? We call her Angie. And um, she told me while I was homeless calling her, if I can stay with her, you understand what I'm saying? Because of them making me homeless and trying to treat me like my mother, you know, they took advantage of her and her social security, so they coming after me. But I'm the originator rapper. I'm priceless. But they don't want me to acknowledge that and stuff. They don't want to acknowledge it. They ran off with all the money. You know, girls are like diamonds, you know, so, you know, diamonds are girl's best friend. Every time I got some diamonds, shit, they came up out of my ears, you know. I got railroaded and the police stole them. You know, it's just been one thing after the other and stuff. And now they don't need me anymore. They all grown, got kids, kids got kids, you know. So even if they die, it's going to be a problem. Even if I die, it's going to be a problem. Even if they mama, who they said died, Lynn Nelson, my oldest niece, I mean, my fault, my fault, her too. And, but my oldest so-called sister supposed to had died. You understand what I'm saying? See, they I think they playing dead. You understand what I'm saying? Kind of like Pepper, you know, because I I tried to avoid, and I did avoid having, you know, touching on my nieces or whatever and stuff because I was at my sexual peak, and I had that sex demon in me, and I didn't want to, you understand? I don't even want to talk about it, but it's a, it's, a, it's a thing called bestiality that we need to address and get out the... Um, you know what I'm saying, community and stuff, for real, for real, because they trying to 
promote that like gay rights and the coronavirus is spreading because that's when I was a teenager, okay? You know, I may have done one more thing that I'm not, you know, keen on saying, but I will say it and I said it before. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, my time has changed. You understand what I'm saying? My lifestyle has changed and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? I believe my higher power allowed me to do a little stupid stuff just so I could talk about this real big stuff called ghetto gaggers. Now, I thought what I did, I would take to my grave and, you know, I, I did it for all the wrong reasons and stuff. I should have never did it, but, you know, stuff happened, right? Now, right now to this day, there's a white girl across the way from me with a dog. They said, they said it's a service dog, so she's allowed to be up in here. But it looked like a pussy licker. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Look like a pussy licker dog or whatever and stuff. Now, when I first got here, they had cats. And the cats must have been in this building. And then they put the cats out and allowed this dog to come in. You know, see, where there's white people, animals, and things of that nature, there's coronavirus, diseases, this, that, and the third. I got my first disease as an adult, you understand what I'm saying, from a white girl. It was a cold sore, you understand what I'm saying? They call it a kissing disease. But, you know, they kiss on their dogs. They do things with their dogs. You can Google this shit all day. Please don't because it's disgusting. I know you don't want to hear it. But this is safe sex or no sex part four. And I have to address it because if you do not treat those diseases, you can go blind. You know, gonorrhea, syphilis, you know, herpes. And so because I was avoiding all that nonsense that I had did while growing up, trying to, you know, uh, what you call, uh, work on my demons or my inner demons that was given to me as a baby. You know, you got to shake that shit off and work it off and all that. You got to work at it. You understand what I'm saying? I know you don't want to hear it, but it's the truth. Remember ghetto gaggers. That shit is fucked up. So when they hear my story, they be like, oh, shit, you ain't nothing. Look at ghetto gaggers. They like, they like that shit. See, they like shoving their penis down your throat and making you bark like a dog and stuff like that. You know, and I ain't with all that shit now. I did some stupid shit growing up trying to avoid some shit that I didn't want to do with my nieces and stuff because, you know, I had that demon in me. You understand what I'm saying? And my sister, she knew what she was doing, especially when she told me, you know, I heard you like girls and you have four nieces and they are my four daughters and you better not touch them and, you know, right, right at my sexual peak, you understand what I'm saying? She tells me this, and I'm glad she did. Not saying I wouldn't have done anything, but if you tell me not to do something, you know, if she would have said, and don't mess with my dog, I would have never messed with her dog either. So they said Pepper died, and they must have been watching me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm 17 years old, okay? You got to excuse me, for real, but it's the truth. And, you know, the next day, you know, they said Pepper died. Hey, Mary, come get Pepper. Go bury Pepper in the backyard. So me, Mary Lynn, Dash, Mary Lynn you'll get, I'm your ghetto news reporter. This is the truth, whether you like it or not. And my youngest niece, Dion Nelson, Dee Dee, and the neighbor next door, we gave Pepper a, a funeral. Now, Shirley Caesar has a song, I Remember Mama. And it's so similar that I was wondering, you know, how true is Shirley Caesar's song? compared to my real life story. You know, it's the truth. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Because that was me doing a sermon for Pepper. But you know, they put dogs down and then they wake them up. Because I done been up under the knife several times, you know, and they give me a shot and I wake up. You understand what I'm saying? So did Pepper really die? Or was that a lesson for me to learn? But see, they wait to see what you're going to do. They don't tell you nothing. They just kind of, you know, if you're a foster child and, you know, this kind of they put that demon in you, and then they see how far you're going to go with it and stuff. I remember a time when they had made me a homeless, and I had to go to Micah Reese Hospital. You understand? Not Micah Reese Hospital. Let me get it right. Mercy Hospital. I went to Mercy Hospital. My sister, Linda Nelson, used to work for Micah Reese Hospital, though, not too far from Mercy Hospital, where I went when I was homeless. And they allowed me to stay about a week. And then this nurse came into my private room while I was asleep and brought a young lady into my room. She was probably a little over a teenager and stuff. And the girl started kissing on me. And I woke up and I said, what is going on? 
And the white lady nurse told me, you are not one of us. You have to go. I said, wow, give me my money and I'm gone. So they gave me my money and I left. I say this story because it's the truth. I take my glasses off because I ain't got to lie to you. It's the honest to God's truth. These nurses are doing a lot of strange things in this, in this, these hospitals and these, you know, type of, you know, uh, government funded programs and stuff. And if you don't comply, then they threaten to kick you out and take your money and railroad you and blackball you. And I'm telling you my truths. Now, them ghetto gaggers doing all that to pay the rent. Because one video I was watching, the girl said she had to pay the rent. I'm like, girl, you can sleep outside for free. It is too much, you know, going on. And that's why the coronavirus is running rampant around the world. Because people are not honest with their innermost demons and stuff. And you know what I'm saying? They said hurt people hurt people. But there's a certain thing called, you know, you can't rape the willing. Me, myself, and I, I don't prefer to get raped. Or rape anybody. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Because I never liked it as a child. Don't like the fact they raping my life. True story. You understand what I'm saying? It's just, I'm, it's, and then for the ghetto gaggers to do it so, you understand what I'm saying? Raunchy. I, it's like I have to really fight harder to tell the, my truths that seem as though it's really not that bad and stuff. But it was. It was horrible. You understand what I'm saying? And it's still worse now than even... The willing ghetto gaggers and stuff. Get a job. You understand what I'm saying? Now, my nieces, they're supposed to be, you know, prestigious individuals and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm hoping um, Yvonne Nelson, Rudy, who helped me get my um, driver's license because, you know, when I was, you know, staying there at about 17 and eight, through 18 and 17 going into 18, you know, I wanted to learn how to drive and stuff. And, you know, I took her keys off the counter and you know I wanted to make sure I could drive because my next door neighbor Andre you know he was always working on his car and you know I asked if he could take him to go get my license and he was like sure no problem and so you know when it's time to, when it was time to drive I wanted to make sure I wouldn't tear up his car and I didn't want to tear up my niece's car either but I figured we was family you know she'll understand what I'm trying to do opposed to tearing up his car just in case I tore up her car so I took the keys and I went around the block and of course you know my other niece was so you know, distraught every stuff. You understand? Ah, Mary took Rudy's keys. You know, drama, drama. Girls is drama. The girls of the world are nothing but trouble. You understand what I'm saying? Will Smith was true about that. You understand what I'm saying? I'm a girl, you know. You know, I tried everything to help him and stuff. Now, they try to use stuff like what I did against me and thought maybe, you know, I just got to cater to them. And I'm like, look, ladies, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? For real. I'm not your daddy. Your daddy worked for AT&T with his nose ears and shit. You know, y'all talk too damn much. It's quiet. It's kept this stuff for real. That's all they was doing was talking, talking, talking. You know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't even look. I won $50. I know I did. You know, I'm listening to the radio station trying to figure out how I can get some money, get up out this goddamn house and shit. You understand what I'm saying? With the ass and shit. I went to job court eventually or whatever and got out through another way, Donna Marie Evans. That's a long story, but yeah. That's all they did was talk, talk, talk. So I'm trying to find out how I can get some money because my sister ain't gave me no money. She gave me $20 to clean up the whole house and stuff. I was like, oh, this is getting ridiculous. They think I'm a slave for real. You understand what I'm saying? I called a radio station. They said, what uh, what color is, 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 is Bozo hair? I said, red is orange. They said, what, what is... Uh, Bozo sidekick name. I said Cookie. Now they try to tell me, you know, I lost the fifty dollars, and then that's that's a lie, cause I know Bozo hair is reddish orange. You understand what I'm saying? But they just didn't want me to have no money. They just want me to be out there horn sucking dick or licking pussy or whatever the fuck. I ain't I ain't about that. What I did, my higher power has forgiven me, and I did it for you know not to put that image in my niece's head first and foremost to protect them from, you know, people who are real predators. And I didn't want them to label me. So, you know, when it's all said and done, I never violated my family. But they have definitely done a number on me. And it's time for them to stand up for me this time. Because if not, if I go, we all go. And if I go blind, I promise you, I'm I'm bumping into everything. I'm walking in the streets. I'm doing all kind of shit. Y'all better fucking save me. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Don't treat me like no goddamn uh, Clark. What's his name? I can't think. I'll put it in the description. Henry Clark. Yeah, peace.